Hello. So it's Saturday and I want to bring back, and I've been saying this and I haven't done it, but I want to bring back my Saturday salutation. So if you're not familiar, I used to give basically yoga tips every Saturday and they focus mostly on yoga alignment tips, so alignment in your yoga poses. And that's all well and good and that's super important and that will be covered some Saturdays, but I wanted to start today about dispelling some of the myths or misunderstandings around yoga. So our yoga tip and our yoga focus for today's Saturday salutations is just a brief explanation of yoga. And if you think you know yoga, I implore you to still listen to this because I think you'll probably get something out of it that you didn't already know. So obviously yoga is not originated in the US it comes depending on who you ask either it gets a lot of its teachings from Buddhism but obviously most people associate it with India and it is not at all <laughs> what we do in the United States what we do in the United States the physical practice of yoga is really not yoga it is the physical practice of yoga which is like one aspect of it but there's a whole component and there are different traditions of yoga or different versions of yoga and so some follow like the eight limbs of yoga but some don't it's it's very different and so it's really important if you want to get into yoga if you're a new practitioner that don't just go to one class and discredit yoga and say this isn't for me because there are so many different styles and so many different teachers. It may not be the practice of yoga that you don't like. It may be that form or that instructor that you don't like. So I really, really implore you to try different styles. And that being said, it may not even be that. It just may be where you are in your life and you may be the challenge may be there for a reason. Like we all know or believe, or most of us do, that everything happens for a reason. And that you have to go through shit to like learn and grow. And yoga is no different. So growing up, I did gymnastics and cheerleading and softball. I was very athletic. And when I went to yoga in my 20s, I went there I was coming out of an abusive relationship. My self-confidence was very low. My physical abilities was just not where it once was. And so I felt yoga would be an easier way to get back into going to the gym and physical activity. But I felt like I would be a shoe in because I still felt flexible. So I thought yoga would be great. And I went and I hated it. It made me feel like I was gonna throw up and it really challenged my self-confidence. And in a world where we are so busy and everything is so loud and everything is so fast and instant gratification, yoga is not that. It's slow, it's quiet. <laughs> it takes a long time to practice and get the practice down. And, and sometimes the and many most times the benefits are not immediate you're not gonna like walk out of yoga I mean you do get to that point and some people do feel it immediately but you don't walk out of yoga feeling oh my god I'm enlightened it doesn't work that way so it was really hard um, and I didn't like it but for some reason there was just this feeling in me that I knew that I needed to keep going back I needed to keep practicing I knew that yoga was meant to be a part of my life and I was just talking with this chiropractor the other day when we were talking about how awesome yoga is. I was trying to explain to her how yoga has changed my life. And it's really, really hard to put into words because like I'm saying, the physical practice of yoga is just one piece of it. And if you find a good instructor, they incorporate all of the other limbs of yoga into class. And not all of them do, but if you find a good one, they really do incorporate things like uh, the, na the namas and the niyamas, which are kind of like the things you should do and the things you shouldn't do. There's breathing, there's meditation, 
all of those things, if you find a good instructor or a good teacher, they will incorporate that into class. And I'm fortunate that my beginnings into yoga, I found who I consider my mentor. I found him and he does that. He's amazing at doing that into class. And it was those things along with the physical practice that really changed me and who I am and really has changed the course of my life because I now have a wellness business because of that. I became a fitness instructor. I became a certified health coach and a yoga instructor. And that is what I do aside from working in an emergency room. And I would never have done those things if I had not found him and found yoga. I wouldn't be making this video for you guys. So there's that. <laughs> But I also want to explain to you guys that you don't have to be flexible to do yoga. Yoga will make you flexible. Just like you don't have to be fit to start working out. You get that way from a regular fitness practice. And yoga is available for everybody. No matter what your age, no matter your physical abilities, no matter mostly no matter your injuries. It's just like I said in the beginning, a matter of finding the instructor that's right for you and what you need. And sometimes it's not gonna be the first one you meet and sometimes it's not gonna be the fifth one. You have to keep searching for that person that resonates with you. Um, yeah. So I think I'm going to end it here. I really appreciate you guys watching this. And I hope that you look forward to more Saturday salutations. If you have any questions, obviously, as always, leave them in the comments. If you don't feel comfortable commenting your question in the comments, if you don't want it public, I am very open to private messages. So feel free to private message me. And I look forward to sharing more videos with you.